mild typical symptoms that doesn't usually um, uh, requ uh, requ uh, require hospital stays. They might be a, a they might be acting out of the abundance of caution, or they might not. They might have to. But it's very hard to get these facts from the White House, so it's unlikely that we will. We'll have to wait to see what we see next of the president. But a good sign that the president was walking to the helicopter unassisted, a good sign that he was wearing a mask, a good sign that he uh, had a thumbs up, but also not a good sign for the campaign, uh, not to go to politics in such a somber time when everybody is wishing the president and his wife best wishes for a speedy recovery. But if he goes to the hospital, that means that even 10 days from now, uh, he will still be needing to quarantine, most likely, no matter how well he recovers, how quickly he recovers. This already puts the second presidential debate uh, likely in jeopardy, if not already not going to happen, and also keeps the president from showing that robust kind of figure that he likes to present himself as with all of those rallies and all of... Um, all of his supporters. He won't be able to go out. He won't be able to do that. I'm sure there'll be a lot of sympathy for his core supporters. And we will again wait to see what we hear from the president next because that is the best indicator of his health. The best indicator we have had right now was that he was walking with a mask unassistant and able to give a thumbs up.